writing equations parallel to another line. In a previous lesson, we learned that parallel lines have the same slope. We also know that the slope intercept form for the equation of a line is y equals mx plus b, where the number for m is the slope, and the b number is the y intercept. We will be using both pieces of information in order to complete today's lesson. Our first example, write the equation of a line passing through the point negative 5, 2 that is parallel to the line y equals 3 over 7x. The first thing to notice is that the equation y equals 3 over 7x is in slope-intercept form. That means that we can read off of this equation the slope of its line. And we need this slope in order to write our line. So the slope, the coefficient of x, 3 over 7. The other thing that we need for our equation is where does it cross the y-axis. Now we can find that from the slope-intercept equation if we take the ordered pair negative 5, 2, and remember that the first number is an x number and the second number is a y number, we can take that information and plug into the slope-intercept form. So we have y equals mx plus b. Our y number is 2. Our slope, 3 over 7. Our x number, negative 5. Since I have fractions, let's write negative 5 as the fraction, negative 5 over 1, plus the y-intercept. Simplify the right-hand side. So we have 2 equals negative 15 over 7 plus b. We need to move the negative 15 over 7 to the left-hand side of the equation to get b by itself. And before I do that, I want to write the number 2 as a fraction with 7 as its denominator. So that makes 2 become 14 over 7 and now we can add 15 over 7 to both sides of the equation fourteen plus fifteen is twenty nine over seven and this equals b so our equation will be y equals our slope three over seven x plus the y-intercept b 29 over 7. Example 2. Write the equation of the line passing through the point 3, 2 that is parallel to the line y equals 5 over 3x plus 2. Again, the given equation is in slope-intercept form so we can read the slope that we need for our line off of the equation. So the slope, coefficient of x, 5 over 3. Next, we're going to take our ordered pair, 3, 2. Remembering the first number is x, the second number is y. And we're going to plug into the slope-intercept equation. So our y number is 2, our slope 5 over 3, multiplied by the x number from our ordered pair, 3 over 1, plus b. The 3's cancel, 
and now we have 2 equals 5 plus b. Subtract 5 from both sides to find out what b is. And we have negative 3 equals b. So our equation will be y equals our slope 5 over 3 x plus our b number which is negative 3 and this is our equation y equals 5 thirds x minus 3. Example 3. Write the equation of the line passing through the point 4, 5 that is parallel to y equals 2x minus 2. Again, the equation that we're given is in slope-intercept form, so we can read the slope that we need off of this equation. The coefficient of x is positive 2. Our ordered pair, 4, 5, contributes an x number and a y number that we can plug into the slope-intercept equation y equals mx plus b. So our y number is 5, our slope positive 2 multiplied by our x number positive 4 plus the y-intercept that we're looking for. Simplify on the right-hand side, so 5 equals 8 plus b. Subtract 8 from both sides, and b equals negative 3. Now we can write the equation for our line. y equals our slope, 2, x, plus our y-intercept, negative 3. Example 4. Write the equation of a line passing through the point negative 5, negative 4 that is parallel to the equation y equals 6 over 5x minus 4. Again, our equation, y equals 6 fifths x minus 4, is in slope-intercept form, so we can read off of this equation the slope of the line that we need, which is 6 over 5. Remember, our ordered pair provides a number for x and a number for y that we can plug into the slope-intercept form. So our y number, negative 4, equals our slope, 6 over 5, multiplied by our x number, negative 5 over 1, plus the y-intercept. The 5's cancel, so we have negative 4 equals negative 6 plus b. Add 6 to both sides, and we have 2 is the y-intercept. So we can write the equation y equals our slope, 6 over 5, x plus our y-intercept, positive so to write the equation of a line parallel to another line, we need to know the slope from the given line. If the lines are written in slope-intercept form, that slope is always the coefficient of x. We need to take our ordered pair and plug the two numbers in for x and y into the slope-intercept equation to find out the y-intercept, then take that y-intercept and the slope to write the equation for the line.